Hi, my name is Lisa Harvey. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Spinal Cord. This short three-minute video is to introduce myself and also to tell you a little bit about Spinal Cord. I took over the role of Editor-in-Chief of Spinal Cord in January 2017. Uh, prior to this, I was an associate editor, and then for a number of years before that, I was on the editorial board of Spinal Cord. I've also been involved in ISCOS, International Spinal Cord Society, who's the owner of this journal, over a number of years in various capacities. So I think I come to this position with a pretty good understanding of Spinal Cord publication process and also of ISCOS. I come from a clinical background. So for the first 20 years of my career, I worked as a clinician in uh, Sydney spinal injury units. Then in 2004, I moved across to my current academic position. That's within Sydney Medical School, University of Sydney in Australia. Uh, in this position, I teach, I supervise postgraduate research students, and I run my own research program. Spinal Cord is the official journal of ISCOS. Uh, it's been around for a very, very long time, uh, so it's really considered the journal within the area of spinal cord injuries. Uh, it has a very broad scope, so it publishes from basic cellular research all the way through to qualitative research that deals with the participation of um, people with spinal cord injuries in the community. So essentially, if your research has anything to do with spinal cord injuries, then it's very, very relevant to our journal. My vision for spinal cord, and I'm sure it's a vision a lot of you would share with me, is that it is the place that any researchers who are involved with spinal cord injuries or any aspect of spinal cord injuries aspires to have their work published. So we know that to achieve this goal, we need to make our journal very, very appealing um, for our researchers. So my associate editors, the editorial board and I are doing a lot of work behind the scenes to ensure that we do everything possible to make it appealing for researchers. So that includes things like making sure the review process is very fair and very quick and increasing the speed between time of submission to publication. We think that spinal cord has something for everyone who works in the area of spinal cord injuries. Um, so all the way from the basic scientists right through to uh, the clinicians and consumers. What we want to do is to ensure that anyone who reads our content can be confident that what they read is trustworthy. So we're doing a lot to ensure that what we publish is really high quality science. So I would encourage all of you researchers to submit your work to Spinal Cord, anyone working in the area of spinal cord injuries to support the journal, read the journal, be an advocate for the journal. And please, if you have any questions, queries or comments, please don't hesitate to email me. Um, I'm absolutely all ears. Thank you.